Welcome to Easy Red 2, or is it Easy 2 Red? I... I don't know. But this is a game that just recently caught my eye on Steam. We're gonna be partaking in an amazing beachhead amphibious assault, so strap yourselves in. We're gonna jump into the Battle of Kwajalein, I think. Now the first thing we've gotta do is take the beachhead. I'm gonna be playing as the Americans because they attack the beach. The Japanese defend the beach. Max AI units, high. Doubled. Let's do it. Ah, der Stuka. The 31st January 1944. Our boys in the blue. Well, I guess we're wearing green. Your orders are to break through the enemy lines. Our boys must take this beach against the heavily defended. Ooh, flamethrower team? I'm so ADD, I can't even do the commentary voice saying that we need to attack this beach. I am going to be, I'm thinking a squad leader because I get a Tommy gun. A Thompson submachine gun with a stick mag. Unfortunately, we don't have the drum, but look at that. The landing ship tanks over there dropping us off in our little Higgins boats, me and the boys, you know, trying to keep our lunches in for those land lovers from Iowa. In like Ohio and all those states where they don't even have water. They don't even drink water. They just drink like melted corn because that's all it will in potatoes, right? Because that's all they got. But me, I'm a Floridian, all right? I don't get nauseous on the water. Famous last words. Blah! All right, hit the beaches, boys. Get out. You guys run in front so you you soak up the bullets. Whoa, guys. What's up? <laughs> Powell? Wait. Oh, I guess they're like fanning out based off of like my position, which is pretty cool. Okay. So, this beach is, well, it was pretty well defended by the Japanese. We, however, we're kind of like on the second wave, and we're starting to take some flag points. We doubled up the enemies. Look at this. Let's attack this trench. Oh, my God. Who spilled all of the strawberry jelly? Oh, he surrendered. Soldier, this is pretty cool. Oh, my God. Who? I didn't shoot him. I didn't. You all saw that, right? I mean, you all didn't see that. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh my god, they're just pouring out from up there. All right, this this just got a little bit crazy. We weren't taking things too seriously. There's so many people surrendering. That's ah! Oh my god. We're I left the marshmallows at home, man. This is a shame because we got ourselves a flamethrower and he's roasting McToasting most of the enemies here. That is a that actually is that Japanese because he kind of looks Russian in a way to me I mean, there's a big red star. You know what? I'm just gonna assume that is in fact Japanese and we're gonna be moving on But the cool thing about this game is it kind of seems like it's got some battle simulator elements to it Oh, who called in the artillery? We have p51 Mustangs flying overhead, too Which I think is interesting considering like this is You know the uh Pacific Theater, we should have, like, Corsairs and stuff. All right, I think I need to pull out a bandage. And it almost looks and feels almost like some of those simulator games that you play. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Like, how that one company that just pumps out simulators and they all kind of look the same and, and play the same. This one sort of has that graphical style, but it definitely doesn't play that. It's got, like, pretty decent gunplay, I'd say. I can't tell if that's one of ours or one of theirs. You know... Things were much simpler in, say, like, the Napoleonic era, the Revolutionary War. Where everyone just like, these guys wear red, those guys wear blue. Let's line up on opposite sides of the field. Oh! So you know who you're dealing with, right? Can I pick up any of these things? Oh, got some cool stuff in there. It's not very good cover if I flank you and shoot you through the window now, is it there? Mr. Japanese soldier, you can hear and see the planes flying overhead. And the planes are, like, you can pilot them if you want. Like, if I wanted to respawn, Bobby, I like this, Bobby Armstrong, 1906 to 1944. Now, I can be one of the existing crew members, apparently, or team members, rather. So I'm going to be this guy because he's got a grease gun. Not as good as our Thompson, but you know what? It'll do. I thought I was going to be able to respawn and be like a fighter pilot or something like that, which would have been pretty cool. Tat, 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 tat. All right, we'll just kind of mag dump arbitrarily over into the brush. Oh, taking bullets. Ah, are we out of bullets? Medic! This guy is straight up out of bullets. Oh, God. How do I, how do I heal you? Hold on. Charles, hold on. Oh. So now, ooh, we do have a brown, uh, BAR. Okay, this is good. I mistook this BAR for, I think, a uh, 
M1 Garand. And the enemy is like way up there. I've actually gotten to fire a BAR and a Tommy gun in real life in like Louisville, Kentucky. I mean, for those of you who don't live in the US, like oh, only America things. But it was really, really cool. It was like this giant machine gun shoot that they have <laughs> out in Louisville, Kentucky. All right, we need to attack this point. And maybe we should... What is that little icon over there? All right, let's stick to the trenches. But there's a lot of like really cool squad control that you can do that I saw like on the Steam store trailer for this game. But like the fact that we have this many enemies running around. Oh, we're, we're starting to conquer a point. Milton Jr. get in this trench there, Milton. Milton Jr., he's from the great state of Delaware. Home to, uh, rampant capitalism. It's like, oh, the, you got a radio. Is that a radio? You do. All right, what if I shoot the radio? That radio is contraband. Oh, yeah, you, you stay right there. Oh, counterattack. Get down, you, you noob. All right, we've captured this point. Excellent. Moving on to the next one. Eliminate enemy forces and take control of the marked area. You got it, dude. Aw, oh, rest in peace, Bob Saget. Oh, this must be like the main barracks area. That's a strong point. Could be a pillbox. I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god, it's enemy armor. Now, this won't do much of anything. Ah! There's no machine gun on this side, right? I need a bazooka. There's like no one left in my squad, is there? Uh, do I have- I, I have no other weapons. Hanson Callaghan. Now we just got Howard Foster left in this squad. He's got a shotgun. All right. I love me a good shotgun. I'm pretty good with a shotgun, I'd say. I'm pretty good with most guns. I mean, I am American, right? No, but seriously. Enemy down. Enemies. Good job. Use that Garand, buddy. Wait, I could give him bandages. I'm trying to refill your bandages. I'm under fire. Yeah, I am under fire. I'm trying to help my friend here. I'm under Shotguns are good at close range, not far range. Erwin! What kind- you got a Garand, it looks like. Give me some cover and fire. Cornelius Curry, what a name. Alright, are we going Leroy Jenkins on these guys? It's probably not a wise idea. But it is an idea. Now the question is, can I take- Oh, this is an airfield and it looks like holes were blown into it. Oh! Saw movement. I think it was just bullets. Alright, just gotta make sure that guy was dead, you know? <laughs> Okay, now... Now I can become other members of a... A squad. And it looks like we've got to take this point over here. Now, as far as I can tell, we don't really have an answer to deal with the enemy armor that's running around. Another zone conquered and we have just take... Kwajalein Beachhead. The casualties were 73. One prisoner. We lost eight vehicles? What vehicles did we lose? Those must have been planes. Now, at this point, you could go back to the Battle of Kwajalein, and now we have the airport. Or we could go to different missions and play as different factions. Wait a minute. I can be the Italians fighting the Germans? No freaking way. I'm gonna be the Italian. I, there's not too many World War II games where you get to actually play as the Italians. This is a rare treat. It's the 3rd of October. It's the 3rd of October, 1943. It's the Marmory Invade. That's a terrible, like, New Jersey accent, honestly. All right, I'm going to be infantry fire team. Wait, are we defending against... Oh, my God. What even, like, weaponry do we have as Italians? Ichibuto. Grazie mille. There we go. I got a little bit of Italian. Uh, what are those? Those look like helicopters. Oh, <gasps> they're gliders. You're kidding me. If I'm the Germans in this mission, I glide into it? Oh my goodness, that is freaking awesome. Okay, so this... Hello, look, I'm a Giuseppe Vinti. All right, boys. I mean, hey, let's... <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother with it. My Italian accent uh, is non-existent. Besides, grazie mille. Uh-oh. I don't want to get popped right here. Cover and fire! The Germans are coming! The Germans are coming! Gianni Marconi, Ernesto Tocci, Egidio Ambrosio. What's your name? Papo, Pablo? Paco? Paolo? Paolo Lecci. Hola. Buongiorno, Paolo. Where's the door, Paolo? Holy biscuits, Giuseppe Vinti. 
He did not leave a past in 1943. There we go. There's a... That'll only anger half the Italian audience that I have, as opposed to all of the Italian audience. It looks like... Yeah, that was heavy artillery strikes. Coming from somewhere. Nebelwerfers? I'll say you... Uh, the Germans are using Nebelwerfers. All right, so the mission's simple. Oh, Stuka dive bombers! <laughs> this submachine gun's pretty cool. Oh, are those Germans? I'm pretty sure those are Germans. Judging by where they're coming from. Hey, get over here! Hey, forget about it! We gotta get these guys. The Germans are over there. Oh, I hit one, actually. Look at that. Now they see me and are shooting back. Stukas! Man, those dive bombing- the- the siren on a Stuka is intimidating as it was intended to be, but that's pretty cool. Oh, hey, bud. And it's definitely a little bit tricky. Oh! Oh, jeez. Can I- How do I ke heal you? I'm- Oh! There we go, let's get him out of here! Are those friends or foes? The Germans, man! They're right there! Alright, uh, fire as we go, like in the movies. Oh god, he's dead. Oh, man. Livio Ventura. That's my name. Oh, biscuits! What was that? Artillery? What the- Sounds like- Oh, yeah, that's definitely artillery. Okay, they're calling artillery on my position. Fantastic. I'm definitely not gonna die. Oh! Defend the marked area! I'm, I'm trying to live, man! That's my objective! All of my friends. Everyone I've ever known. He's kaput. Oh my god. Oh, look at that Nebelwerfer just crash that stuff. Oh god. Got one! Got another one! All right. Livio Ventura is... Uh, wait a... Okay, I can pick people up. Oh! The Germans, the Germans, the Germans, man. Are these Germans? I don't know how I'm alive, but I, I'm glad I am, you know? That's... Uh, 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 famous last words. I don't know how I'm alive, but I sure am glad I am. Okay. So we can be this infantry fire team, and uh, let's see what rifles we have. They look like they're semi-autos. Nope, they're bolts. Yeah, we got bolt action rifles. Ugo Ferri, Giuseppe. Oh my! I want. I every time I'm an Italian, I want to be named Giuseppe, and I just got mad deja vu right there. I don't know what it was. Uh, no, I've been told it's a glitch in the Matrix. Is that friend or foe? I can't tell. I'm not too familiar. Yeah, that's definitely a friend. I'm glad I didn't take a pot shot at him. Uh-oh. Why am I getting shot at from behind? Oh, bit, bit, bit. it's the Stuka doing a dive run. Oh my god, those guys just got artillery nastily. Uh-oh, someone just died in my squad. You! Oh man, you're definitely dead. I was gonna drag you out, man, but... Oh, I got artillery! Alright, so we need a little bit better indication of, like, you died, but you died because artillery got ya. Oh! We're gonna stay in... Oh my god, I'm actually still alive. This house is decent at defending against artillery. And Gianluca Mazza. Mazzarella, he is a dead. What if I'm a squad leader? I think I was in the last time. All right, I've already played with this gun. God, I love these voices, man. Alberto Mazza. Wait, wasn't I also a Mazza? You killed my brother. Prepare to die. I see you over there, Jerry boys. This is called the spray and the prey. Oh, biscuits. I got a bandage up. I'm in a dangerous spot, but I'm a doing it. I'm a doing it. Let's go. Let's retake this little villa. I think he was trying to help his friend there. There's multiplayer for this game too. Man, all those Germans got wrecked. Alberto Maza, he's the taking of the town. This is a beautiful little town. Oh, ow! Who shot me? Somebody with a gun. He a shot to me. There's so many Germans over there. Italian. Oh, shoot them, boys. All right, we have to go over here. So I guess we should be playing the objective. PTFO. Play the freaking objective there, Bobby. My name is uh, Gianluigi. 
Oh, oh, this guy surrendered. He tried to melee me. He's got a Panzer Shrek. I want a Panzer Shrek. Oh, can't shoot that guy. He surrendered. Wow, that was pretty cool. We forced this army to surrender. Am I out of bandages? Am I bleeding out? How do I? I don't want to carry him. I need to heal myself. Oh, okay. Medicine. Taking the inventory. There we go. Now I should be able to... Nope. Medicine is in bandages. Panzer Shrek. I want that. Taking the inventory. Bazooka rocket. Bazooka rocket. Bazooka rocket. Two bandages. All right. Now... Oh my god. No. I'm not ready to die. Where'd those guys go? Dang, they just ran by me. Oh, Alberto Mazza, he's a dead. I didn't even get to use... I didn't even get to use my, uh, frickin' recently acquired Panzer Shrek. So needless to say, let's, like, actually take a look at some of the other theaters that we have. And, like, there's definitely armored vehicles, right? So there's the campaigns, there's the mission editor, which... <gasps> Open workshop missions? Oh my gosh. Wake Island, Omaha Beach? Oh, yes. Gosh, there are so many cool maps out there. So there's that. The campaigns are pretty impressive. We've got USA versus Japan, Germany versus Italy, and then Americans and Brits versus the Germans. This is glorious. And you can play on either side. Like, if I wanted to do that, but I wanted to be the Japanese, defending against the Americans in their amphibious attack, I can do that. So if I wanted to defend your orders, repel the enemy attack. You have limited supply of infantry squads. And you can take command of a plane if you want. Oh man, I hope... Oh my gosh, yes! Yeah. Now, do I have any... Plane controls are pretty easy, actually. It's kind of just like I'm pulling the mouse like I would my joystick, you know what I'm saying? Woo! Whoa, how did they shoot me? I don't know if I believe that, but my plane just crashed. Anyway, this, my friends, has been Easy Red 2. And if you guys want to see more, well, uh, pull the trigger on the like video, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.